Good morning, Southwest Florida. I'm Bree Walling. This Naples Herald Morning Report is sponsored by our friends at Fusillo Kia of Cape Coral. This morning we'll tell you about three arrests following a controversial UF speech, Naples making another top location list, and more. Today is Monday, October 23rd, and this is the Morning Report. Following a speech at the University of Florida on Thursday in Gainesville, where the controversial white nationalist Richard Spencer was speaking, a man has been charged with attempted murder along with two men who were brothers for urging him to shoot at anti-Nazi protesters. All three have been arrested on attempted homicide charges. According to reports, the three were in a vehicle immediately after Spencer's speech and began making Nazi salutes while shouting Hitler chants at a group of people holding anti-Nazi signs near a bus stop. When one person in that group struck the back window of the man's vehicle with a baton, one of the three men, a convicted felon, exited the vehicle and showed a handgun while the brothers encouraged him to shoot. A single shot was fired, missing the group and striking a nearby building. He's also being charged as a felon in possession of a firearm. The men fled, but after the vehicle had been identified, they were later brought in on the charges. Read more about the event at NaplesHerald.com. Collier County Sheriff's Office is asking for the public's help to identify a man that they said tried to lure a child into his vehicle in East Naples last week. According to deputies, the man stopped his vehicle along the side of the road near a crosswalk leading to East Naples Middle School. The witness told deputies that the man rolled his window down and motioned for the girl to get into his car. After the girl refused and rode away on her bike, she told deputies that the man sped off. CCSO released a composite sketch of the man in the hopes of trying to identify him. Him. The witness told deputies that the man was driving a silver PT cruiser and was described as a Hispanic male, overweight, with glasses. He's believed to be in his 50s or 60s, clean-shaven, with gray hair. If you have any information, please contact CCSO or Crime Stoppers. Many of us in Southwest Florida complain about seasonal traffic or relentless heat waves, so it's easy to forget how great this place actually is sometimes. We have seen Naples on destination lists almost every year. It's been named the best beach town, the happiest and healthiest city, and this time the Naples metro area has been named one of the happiest in the country by National Geographic. The report, written by Dan Butner, the author of The Blue Zone Solution, focuses on three strands of happiness, pleasure, pride, and purpose. He uses the Blue Zones Index to measure the happiness of a population based on a series of metrics, including walkability, civic engagement, and healthy food options. One of the 190 metro areas surveyed, the Naples Immokalee Marco Island metro area ranked 11th, with Boulder, Colorado listed as number one. The Naples area was one of two areas in Florida to make the top 25. Northport, Sarasota, Bradenton area was the other. For the full list of happiest U.S. cities, check out NaplesHerald.com. And that was the Morning Report for today. I'm Bree Walling. The Morning Report airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our lunch break that also airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Thank you for watching.